Episode three was my first day on set, so I was excited and it was great to meet all the new cast members. I was also, interestingly enough, handed a, a knife, which I have to use in the episode. And the first time I use it, in the first take, lo and behold, um, I go and cut myself. You might notice it in one of the um, pan backs. Um, but yeah, so I just spent... bandage, wasn't there? Yeah, little bandage, yeah. there's a little white, white thumb. Um, <laughs> so I just spend, actually, the first half an hour after that shot, just kind of bandage and then super gluing my, my cut up. So, uh, I, you know, really put my heart to the cause. It was really weird with the special effects for me because mm. I'd never done that before. So getting used to that was kind of strange, but really fun. I still really enjoyed it. For me, working with the special effects or if you like, without mm. the special effects was, um, a lot of fun because you can kind of go in your own head and just imagine what you are seeing, whether that's right or wrong with the final cut. Um, but the moment where we had to say, with the whole get down moment, yeah, that was that was the most kind of that's Michael Bay moment, if you like. Um, we can really have a bit of fun and just doing them and just actually pull the director really sort of eking out our performances, mm. getting more and more get down. Bigger is better. And he said, way. didn't he? He's like, okay, I think I've got it, but do it again once more and just do. Just do whatever you want, and then I think that was the best one. That's probably the take, yeah. to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, it, it is the take. It is, it <laughs> is the take. <laughs> the fight scenes that we had to do were a lot of fun. Um, I found my shoes were a bit slippy. Um, <laughs> just go on a small detail, um, which I found in other episodes, actually. Um, but I got used to it, you know. I'm, I'm a man of my craft. But shoes. you'd worn those shoes before, hadn't you? I had. So, you, yeah, you should have known. I should have known really. my own shoes. <laughs> I quite like being like, okay, now we're doing this, now we're doing this, rather than kind of sitting and mm -hmm. waiting around. I'd rather be getting on with it, which is what we did. And and because of, like, obviously the situation, like, we'd just seen an alien ship, you kind of needed to be in that, like, mind frame as well. Like, yeah. Mind frame? Is it, that a yeah, it, frame it, of mind? To be honest, it might have actually helped with the, uh, the panic the situation yeah, if you down. like I mean you can take uh, 50 to 150 takes of something just to get more and more nuances of actors which it, it can work but with this I think the panic and the urgency that all of our characters are actually feeling it helped the pacing the pace of the shoe my character Katie is very kind of angsty um, has that aggression towards her family that I think I mean, everyone goes through, especially when you've got, like, a protective older brother who's trying to, you know, you feel like they're hindering you, but actually they're trying to help you. Then, obviously, the situation of the funeral as well, and then you see an alien ship in the sky, which kind of throws it all out the window. But, yeah, no, it was really fun, I think, playing that kind of almost, like, teenager kind of leave-me-alone attitude. Um... Was yeah. there some of you in the character? Um, oh, quite possibly. Teenage you. Yeah, teenage me, <laughs> yeah. Well, I understand that idea of like, almost thinking, no, we'll just, you know, we don't care, we'll just see what happens. But I think if there was even a hint of there being, no, I would, you know, I would follow all of the instructions that the news told me. And would you get your phone out? Would you film things? No, I wouldn't, no. I mean, I'd definitely be one of the people that would watch it on someone else's Facebook or on their Instagram. I'd be like, oh, what happened? But no, I'd be running as fast as I can. Same with me. I'd like to think I'd gather people together, at least know that they're safe. Um, mm. But there is a part of me that would want to be, not under it, but near Involved. it. Involved. You don't know. It's that whole kind of id, ego kind of thing. You know, you stand on the edge of a cliff, you know, there's part of you... Oh, I, could, I could jump. Yeah. So, you know, do you, do you want to be actually in the eye of the storm or just outside going, wow, that's amazing. And I'm an eternal optimist, I, I like to think. So I like to think, um, if aliens came down or whatever, you know, maybe we shouldn't be holding guns, maybe they are yeah. peaceful, who knows? Um, but you don't know, that's the thing. Well, until series two, then you yeah. know. Yeah, or maybe, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs>